why is Chris Matthews saying all this? Why would he do such an egregious job? Hmm. Here he is on the Tom Hartman show, and Tom Hartman asks him the same questions like, hey, you're coming down a little hard on socialism, and let's, let's listen to this. You have been pretty outspoken in, in uh, using the word socialism around Bernie. I'm curious. Oh, it's his word, not mine. I understand. Democratic socialism specifically. No, I'm, I'm, socialism is what he's always believed in. That's fine. I'm curious what specific socialist policies that he advocates well, that you here's oppose. Let's write through. It's not about me opposing. Or that you are it's concerned about, about. It's not even concerned. They should be known by the voter. He said we will have government paid uh, tuition major state and, and, and co- universities and colleges paid for by the government. We had that when you and I were kids, Chris. Yes, we did. So Chris Matthews freaked out. Bernie Sanders says he's going to give everybody public co- colleges. And Tom Hartman correctly makes the point. Yeah, like what we had when we were kids, Chris. Remember we had free public universities until, I don't know, when Ronald Reagan turned that stuff around in the 70s. Do you remember that? Yes, I do. And let's, let's watch how Chris Matthews responds to that point being made. It's Chris. Uh, listen, listen, I don't want to argue. Why not? Gonna tell you. I don't want to argue. And Tom Harbour goes, why not? What do you mean you don't want to argue? I don't get to bring up points that uh, correct the record on my own show because you don't want to argue? What did that? What does that sound like? That sounds like a guy who thinks he's bigger than Tom Hartman. I don't have to do, I don't have to play your game. Hey, look, I'm going to tell you, you're lucky I'm even making time for you. That's exactly what this is. I, I like how Chris is saying that Bernie Sanders wants a uh, free college for everybody as if that's some secret, as if he doesn't say that in every speech. Right, I, I agree with you. And he's saying that it's like it's a bad thing, by the way, too. Yes. Chris Matthews is saying it's like some crazy, crazy thing. Healthcare for life, government paid. Right. Uh, huge new benefits in Social Security, government paid. Where's right. the? If that's not socialism, I don't know what it is. If it's no, healthcare, Social Security is definitely socialism. I, yeah, I, I, what I don't. Argue, we have nothing to argue about. It's socialism. Yeah. If that's what he wants to sell, we'll see if it works. Well, you know, it worked for FDR, didn't it? Mm, FDR was very concerned about building Social Security as a... First of all, it did not come out of general revenue. Number two, it was dedicated from uh, payroll taxes. So the people, when they retired, had basically paid into the system. It was a sense of self-reliance that he thought was very important. He also thought it was very important to not be means tested. So Roosevelt was very much a more, much more of a, a, a very, he was a liberal. I don't think he was a socialist. Huh. Interesting. Um. <laughs> So, so this is Chris Matthews trying to say that Social Security, not not really socialism, Medicare, not really socialism, because uh, because the way it was set up, you pay into it. You did that. You mean the government mandates? They take money out of your check. You don't get to decide where it goes. They take it. They put it in a thing for you. They give it back to you. That's socialism. You you know that big FDR program, Liberal Security, that he has. <laughs> <laughs> And you see how he repeats the phrase government paid, and he just says it, government paid, yeah. government paid, as if government spending is bad. Does he does he rail against uh, death penalty, government paid, military <laughs> spending, government paid? Does he do bullshit? Like, it's why is, why is spending money on things that help Helped. people Again. such a bad idea? And, and it, 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 it's, fuck Chris it's, Matthews. It's, yeah, it's like, oh, we're going to spend money that actually uh, helps our country, which is an investment, college education for people who want to go. That's an investment. That's not a cost to your country. Country. That's an investment. You're going to get that back. That's not. OK, so here we go. So you don't think of Social Security as a socialist program? No, it's a program, but it's not a whole yeah. socialist philosophy. Bernie is basically covers the waterfront and what he thinks the government should be doing. Well, he doesn't think the government should be involved in the means of production and supply. I mean, that's it's not uh, Marxism. That hasn't come up yet. Oh, yeah. oh that's really? good journalism right there. It hasn't come up yet. Uh, you know. He hasn't. If if he was going to talk about taking over the utilities, he would have done it by now. So okay. Chris, so so people are calling Chris Matthews out. Like, why is he going so crazy? Why is he off the rails like this? Like, like that's quite rabid. Anti first. I mean, it's like the stuff that the party has always stood for. He's against the, the crazy and things we used to have, like free college education, free education in America. So people feel I, we figured out uh, what his. Uh, the Daily Caller did a little investigation, and it turns out, you know, his wife is running for Congress in Maryland, mm-hmm. Chris Matthews' wife, Kathleen Matthews. And uh, she used to work for Marriott. They did a lot of work with the, the Clinton Foundation and what have you. Hmm. Let's just forget about that. But uh, uh, 
she, they got the same donors. Hillary Clinton's donors and Kathleen Matthews' donors are the same donors. They're the uh, same people. Uh, in fact, some of those donors have been the donors for the Clintons their whole life. So by the end of 2015, Kathleen Matthews had raised $1.5 million. Only one of her eight primary opponents has raised more than one million by year's end. So she's got the money wrapped up. She's in the, so this is, so why, why is money in politics bad? Because it not only corrupts politicians, it now also corrupts newsmen. So now if he wasn't corrupt enough, Chris Matthews, because all his money comes from corporations, corporations give him all the money. They give all the money to produce his show. They, they it gets, it gets uh, distributed through corporations over to corporations, distribution streams. Everything's a corporation and they're supposed, not supposed to influence the news. Okay. Okay. And now it's not only being influenced that way, it's being influenced because his wife is now in politics and she's getting money from those same donors that the Clintons get. And so that's starting to explain why he's going so easy on the Clintons. And his wife was in business with the Clintons through the Marriott Corporation and the Clinton Foundation. So that's what. So I guarantee that the Clintons introduced her to those donors. I, I'll, I'll guarantee you. And people are sick of it. People are sick of. This kind of politician being bought. People are sick of this kind of corporate politician. It's transparent. Here we have a real journalist calling out a BS journalist right on the air. And you see how defensive he got about it? I'm not, I'm not going to argue. Oh, you mean like if I correct you, you're not going to acknowledge it? That's the corrosive, corrupting influence of money, not only in politics, but in journalism, in corporate bought journalism. It exposes a corporate Democratic Party that caters to big money. And both Clinton and Chris Matthews are the beneficiaries of a political system that serves money. Don't forget the Clintons are worth over $100 million. And when Bernie Sanders says the wealthy have to pay their fair share, he's talking about Chris Matthews as well. And he knows that. And so we. Uh, so what this talks about is the corrupting influence of the donors. We've said it on the show that politicians are no longer responsive to the voters; they're only responsive to the donors. And this goes to show also the corporate news journalists only responsive to the donors. Mm -hmm.